In this video, I'm gonna show you multiple ways on how you can apply, copy, and paste effects inside Premiere Pro. Let me quickly show you three easy ways to apply an effect, and then we'll move on to the different methods of copying and pasting. First, you can click and drag your effect onto the clip. Second, you can click and drag the effect from the effects window into your effects controls window of the clip. And third, and probably the quickest way, is with your clip highlighted, just double click the effect, and it will automatically apply the effect here. Let's move on to the many ways of how to copy and paste effects inside Premiere Pro. The simple way of doing this is highlighting your effect inside the effects controls window, right click and hit copy, and then go to the clip that you want to paste this on, right click inside your effects controls window and hit paste, and there is our black and white. Now, if you wanna do that to multiple clips, there is a much faster way. And just to showcase what this method can do, I'm also gonna scale in maybe 120% and I'll move my position. And I want to copy and paste both my motion and the black and white effect to the rest of these clips on the timeline. So I'm gonna highlight this clip and I'm gonna hit Command C on Mac. This is essentially the same as if I were to right click on the clip and hit copy. Now I'm gonna highlight all of my clips, right click and go to paste attributes. And with this paste attributes window, we can now select any of the attributes that we want to paste from that clip that we copied. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now you can tell that the rest of my clips are black and white. And if I were to click on any random clip, you can see that it has the same scale and position attributes pasted. I'm gonna undo this and just so I can showcase to you, I'm gonna highlight all of those clips again, right click, hit paste attributes, and I'm not going to paste the motion, but I am going to paste the black and white, hit okay. And now it's black and white, but if I click on it, you can tell that there is no scale or position there. Same thing goes for if I want to remove attributes. So if I highlight all of my clips, right click and click remove attributes, let's say I don't want to remove the motion attributes, so I'll unclick that, but I do want to remove the black and white. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now you can see that the black and white has been removed, but if I click on my first clip, I still have that scale and position change right there. Now let's move on to other methods of copying and pasting effects, and these ones will really help you when you're doing things like color correction. Now I wanna bring up my Lumetri window. And again, to showcase things as easy as possible, I'm going to take the saturation all the way down and make it black and white. And with this, I could do that same thing where I hit copy and paste attributes. But if you wanted to apply this color grade to all of these clips, another way of doing that is going to your project bin, creating a new item, adjustment layer, and bringing that adjustment layer onto the timeline above all of your clips. And now all we have to do is go to our effects controls for this clip, and I'm going to cut this out, go to my adjustment layer, and paste this effect. And now we've effectively applied the quote unquote, this color grade to all of these clips. For this next example, let me showcase to you a quick way to apply an effect globally to a clip throughout your entire Premiere Pro project. So here I have two sequences that are about the same, labeled one and two. And on both of those sequences, I have the same C0483 clip. And at the end, I have copied and pasted that same C0483 clip. With this clip, since it is shot and log, what I would normally do is input my LUT and adjust my color settings. Now, just to show you, I've applied this Lumetri color just to this specific clip on this sequence. So if I go to sequence one, my footage still looks log, right? But if I were to take this Lumetri color, highlight it, and I'm going to right click, cut, and go over here to my source, now we're in the source panel for this clip. I'm going to right click and hit paste. What I've effectively just done is apply this Lumetri color effect to every single instance of this clip in my entire project. So if I go to sequence one, I now have that same Lumetri color effect on the clip. And I can't see it here on the clip, but if I go over to the master, again, it's right here. Now, let me tell you the little trick that I just found out that has saved me so much time in the edit when it comes to copying and pasting this Lumetri color setting. So as you can see in this previous tutorial, I had a bunch of talking head clips that I need to apply this look to. And what I would normally do is find every instance of this clip on my timeline go to the effects control window, go to my source and paste that Lumetri color setting. And I would do that for every single clip on the timeline. Don't do that. I have found a much faster way of applying this to all of my clips 
at once. Go to my source, right click on this Lumetri color and I'm gonna hit copy. And then I'm gonna go to my project window. I'm gonna highlight all of my clips that don't have this Lumetri color on it. And then I'm gonna right click and hit paste. And immediately I've applied that Lumetri color look to all of these clips inside the project bin and I didn't have to go through and find any of the clips on the timeline. It has applied this look to every single clip throughout my entire project. You can copy and paste effects directly onto clips inside the project bin. I didn't know you could do this. So say you had a whole bunch of clips that were upside down. In fact, let me go here to my effects window. I'm gonna type in flip and do vertical flip. A lot of times if I'm doing top down shots, I might have my camera flipped um, upside down and then I'll flip all of those clips inside Premiere Pro. So imagine if you just looked up vertical flip highlighted all those clips that were upside down, click and drag it over to your clips, and then immediately you just flipped all your clips right inside the project bin and you could bring them down into your timeline. Now I know maybe 99% of you out there already knew that you could do this, but for maybe the one person that is watching this video that didn't know that you could apply effects to your footage inside the project bin in a bulk capacity, I hope I just saved you so much time like it has saved me time. If I did help you with any of those tips and tricks when it comes to applying, copying, and pasting effects inside Premiere Pro, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up button. My name's Javier Mercedes. I do Premiere Pro tutorials on this channel. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. You can click on another video and we can spend some more time together. All right.